What's going on, everybody? All right. Um, had somebody comment on my last video. Why wouldn't Bitcoin be the uh, new dollar? And the person happens to be holding XRP. So I guess he or she wants to know um, the reason why XRP would be the new dollar. Now I can explain to you the reason why. Just hear me on this. I can go into Bitcoin is slow and all that other stuff is too costly to make, yada, yada, yada. But in reality, you need to understand it from the big picture perspective. There's two tiers in this. One, you have cryptocurrencies that are designed to work between people, you and me, in order to send money back and forth. Whether we recognize the currency as money or we want to do um, an exchange of value. So I send you, let's say, for example, from my dollars, I change it into Bitcoin and you get it on your side and then you cash it into your currency. Let's say it's your own or rule or whatever. That's one tier. The other tier is the financial institutions and banks and central governments. Now on that level there, it's totally different because you need to have a coin or a system, a ledger, that can operate at that level because that level is totally different. Look, Bitcoin wasn't designed to work at that level where people are sending, sorry, banks, financial institutions and central governments could be sending billions of dollars at the end of the day when they batch all their outgoing orders. Understand something, Bitcoin, it, it, it would not have the liquidity needed to support those transactions and the cost will be absolutely beyond anything. It will be so the most costliest money transfer ever. And on top of it, time, super slow. Why? Because in order to make that transaction, Bitcoin takes a long time to clear versus XRP, which is in seconds. But there's one thing that's even more, two things. For a financial institution to go into open market and buy Bitcoin and then send it to another person is very risky because the voluntary, like vol volatility inside of Bitcoin, the price could drop like literally <sighs> thousands or even tens of thousands fast by the time that money clears. And XRP, Ripple already created a system where the banks could plug into it via their own plug-in software that they buy or a partner that they use so they could use ODL. So they say they're only using the XRP coin, only it for a matter of seconds. So there's a liquidity need there that regulators, regulators demand this type of stability, speed, and low risk. And XRP has it, but... Bitcoin does not have it on that level, on that enterprise level where the banks, central governments and major financial institutions are moving billions or trillions. Bitcoin was never designed for that. Do you understand? But XRP was. That's why XRP will be the global, this is what I said, the global dollar. Because what makes it a global dollar? When banks start moving it back and forth cross border. You understand? Now, on the, on, on the scale of Bitcoin, yes, they're going to pump it up in price. Bitcoin is going to go pump up in price. But Bitcoin has competition on peer-to-peer -peer money currency movement. Cardano, XLM, Tether. I mean, it has competition for the average guy that wants to send his brother in Germany $1,000 for Christmas. There's a lot of coins you could choose. You understand? But when it comes to the banks, central governments... Uh, central banks and financial institutions moving billions or trillions, that's where you get your XRP advantage that nobody could touch. That's why holding XRP in what's coming is going to be absolutely rewarding beyond anything we could ever imagine. So I hope that helps.